today's video. Today's question, it might not even be a question, today. All right, I think, I think we should talk about affirmations and sort of mantras, because these are things that I've, per like, I've personally used this stuff to drastically change my life in very small ways. So it's often the very small things that you can do, right? And guys, I know it, sound, it sounds pretty cliche, you know, this is just like a, another motivational video, but it, it's, not, it's not quite the same. So an affirmation is where you constantly tell yourself the story that you want to believe. So subconsciously, we always believe things about ourselves that may or may not be true based on our experiences, what people have told us and our memories. But you can, you can actually change those stories. You can change what you tell yourself about yourself, meaning you can change your beliefs and your confidence and anything else that you might want to change. All you need to do is tell yourself a different story. So for example, with lucid dreaming, you've got into this community, you've read an article, maybe you, you want to learn how to control your dreams. And you've probably told yourself at some point that it's difficult. You've told yourself that you can't do it or that you never remember your dreams. Right. I get loads of emails and comments from you guys saying like, I never remember my dreams. I, I can never, I never have any dreams even. Now, firstly, you should never say the word never because it's an absolute. You should never speak in absolutes because when you, when you speak in absolutes, you're telling your subconscious mind that it should always be this way. Meaning there's no scope for change. If you tell yourself something like I'm always late, your subconscious mind will act in a way that is congruent with that belief, meaning you, your subconscious mind will make your actions match what you're saying about yourself because you don't want to have that cognitive dissonance in your head. You, your brain doesn't want to be confused and conflicted. So if you, if you tell yourself something like, I'm always late, your brain, you'll subconsciously make yourself always late so that that statement is true. And this is a huge thing, like this is a huge, they use this a lot in uh, neuro-linguistic programming and uh, various self-help programs and courses. Um, this is a huge tip, which would normally cost, you know, a lot of therapy to, to drill into people, right? You need to start telling yourself a different story, but not only that, you need to tell yourself a positive absolute, right? Or a temporary negative statement. So let's say if you're, and I will relate this back to lucid dreaming in a minute. I just need to go off on this little tangent so that it makes sense later. Let's say if you're, if you miss the bus one day, right? And you're going to, you're going to be late for work. Instead of telling yourself in your mind, or even telling yourself to your boss or whatever, I'm always late, I always seem to miss my bus, tell yourself, this is really weird. Tell yourself something like, this is strange, for some reason today I've missed my bus, but normally I am on time. And just by shifting the way you phrase it, your subconscious mind suddenly thinks, oh, okay, well he's saying that he's normally on time, so next time, let's try and make it so that he is on time, so that that statement becomes true and so that there is no cognitive dissonance between what you're doing and what you're saying you're doing. Now, the way this relates to lucid dreaming is if you tell yourself a negative absolute, if you tell yourself something like, I'm, I can never lucid dream, I never remember my dreams, I, I, when I have a lucid dream, I can never control it. Because you're using the absolute word of, N I can never do this, your brain and your subconscious mind will act in a way to make that true. So you're, you're physically and literally holding yourself back with your words. And you might not believe this, like I didn't believe this when I first came across this, but then I just, I did an experiment, right? Which is what I'm gonna to propose to you now, is a little test, okay? You might just think I'm a crazy guy sitting on this sofa, spouting nonsense, and that's fair enough. But if you research this yourself, you'll find that what I'm saying is true. But if you, more importantly, test it yourself, you will find it to be absolutely true, okay? If you do this test for the next 30 days, I promise you, you will make a huge difference in your life and also in your lucid dreams. Start telling yourself a different story, okay? Picture the person you want to be. Let's say you always want to be on time, you want to be confident, you want to have lots of money. Tell yourself and think about yourself in, in the best possible way. So don't think, I'm always in debt, I never have any money, I always seem to spend all my money. Tell yourself things like, money seems to just come to me naturally. Even if you don't, if it, even if it doesn't happen right now, tell yourself it as if it were true, and it literally will, it will happen. Like it will become true because you will act in tiny, imperceptible ways to make that statement true, so that you're telling yourself the truth about yourself, even if it's not true now. 
And you can, and like I said, use this with lucid dreaming as well. Tell yourself things like, I always lucid dream, or normally I remember my dreams. I almost always remember my dreams in vivid detail, right? I can, when I am lucid, I'm very clearly lucid, it's vivid, I'm intensely in control. Now, tell yourself these things every single time you think about what, what the subject is, right? Say if, say if someone asks you about lucid dreaming, say, oh yeah, I find lucid dreaming really easy, I can always remember my dreams. Even if you maybe can't do that, even if it's not completely true, tell yourself that story and your subconscious mind will, over time, make it true. Now, the next step of this, and this is the, the thing that I've integrated into most of my life, is to use these affirmations as a blanket sort of coverage all the time, right? If some, any negative comment that you hear, let, let's say if you're trying to be a certain type of person, let's say if you're trying to become rich or successful or you're trying to achieve a particular goal, get to a certain muscular definition or, you know, you're trying to achieve something. Every time someone tells you, you, you can't do that, or that's not possible, or you're not that sort of person, you really need to immediately counter that with a statement that, that contradicts them, right? You need to say, oh no, I am. Of course I'll be successful. Of course I'll be rich, you know? Of course I will achieve this goal. Of, of course I will quit smoking, or do whatever the goal is you're trying to do. You need to make sure your subconscious mind, which is you know, really what's, what's running the whole show here, you need to make sure your subconscious understands and believes your intention. And using smoking as a, as a good example, if you want to quit smoking, what, what a lot of people do is they'll try and quit and then their friends will say, oh, I knew you wouldn't quit, like, here you are again having a cigarette, you, you always come back to it in the end. That will seep into your subconscious mind and become a, a self-fulfilling prophecy. You will tell yourself the same story and you'll act in a way that makes it true. You'll be much more likely to slip up at a party and say, oh yeah, well I, I do end up going back to smoking all the time anyway, because it's, it's hard to give up, right? It's an addiction, and it is an addiction. And I'm just using this as a random example, by the way. But instead, if you were to tell yourself a story like, this is a small slip up, but I am gonna quit. It's, it's a certain fact that I'm gonna quit. That makes it much more likely to have an effect on you and actually get your results. And uh, it's true, you know? So that's it guys, try this out for just even just 30 days. Tell yourself a different story, whether it's about lucid dreaming or any goal you're trying to achieve, just tell yourself the absolute version of the positive version of what you're trying to do. Instead of thinking, I'm always late, I'm never gonna be successful, tell yourself a genuinely positive absolute, of course I'm gonna be successful. <laughs> like there's no way it, it won't happen, of course I'm gonna be rich, of course it's, it's a fact that I'm gonna achieve this goal, whatever that goal is and you'll, you'll act in a way that will make that statement true. It might not be instant, it might not even be in a year or even 10 years, depending on the size of your goal, okay? But for most of us, for small goals, for achievable realistic goals, like giving up smoking or lucid dreaming, earning or saving a certain amount of money, going to a certain country, or even just finding a certain job, it's very achievable and it's very within your reach. All you need to do is just change the story you're telling yourself. Thanks for watching guys. This video and this channel are supported by my Patreon followers who are updated in the description of every video at the time of uploading. Please consider giving just a dollar a month to support this channel or just click the links in the description. You'll find links to various Lucid Dream products, articles, techniques, and tutorials. If you did enjoy this video, please click the notification bell and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Why are you still watching this? You should have clicked one of my related videos by now, right? Or subscribed, or gone onto my website, or something like that.